Kenyan MPs have earned themselves all sort of scornful nicknames in recent years, all courtesy of their seemingly insatiable greed for riches. From MPs to Mheshimi Wafizi, Honorable Hyena, angry citizens have been spoiled for choice in coining synonyms for the legislators whose obsession with higher pay is simply out of this world. Wanjiku's bid to tame this greed has been unrelenting. It started in the most bizarre of ways on the morning of May 14, 2013 when protesters unleashed blood-spattered pigs outside parliament buildings to express their anger at newly elected MPs demanding higher salaries before they had even pocketed their first salary. The weird protest appeared to do little to tame the greed as the leaders still had their way. The 12th parliament took taken the gluttony a notch higher, with members' undying attempts to hike their pay over the past two years sticking out like a sore thumb. Some of them started the push before they had even been sworn in. The MPs have appeared unperturbed by the public outcry and done nothing to convince Kenyans that they are not as desirous as pigs and hyenas. Strangely, the outrage only serves to embolden them to further raid public coffers. Despite earning more much more than MPs in the G7 countries like Canada, Germany, UK, USA, France, Japan, and Italy that are fully developed and whose GDP per capita are thousands of US dollars higher than Kenya's, our shameless MPs have gone to the extent of seeking inconceivable perks such as a KSH 250,000 house allowance and KSH 18,000 to KSH 24,000 as night allowance. Luckily for Kenyans, they have President Uhuru Kenyatta on their side. Since he assumed office in 2013, the head of state has publicly opposed the pay increment demands and vowed to defend Wanjiku. He took a major political risk in 2017 when he, while still awaiting the outcome of the Supreme Court petition that saw his win annulled, swore to reject a bill MPs were to take to Parliament to contest SRC's move to regularize their pay. True to his word, President Kenyatta this week declined to sign into law the Parliamentary Service Bill, 2018 that would have given MPs powers to award themselves salaries and other emoluments contrary to existing laws. This was the only right and honorable thing to do and deserves extraordinary applause from the over 50 million Kenyans who have always felt powerless in the hands of their MPs. The President just as he did recently when opposing additional revenue to spend thrift and corrupt county governors, made it clear that he will not allow wastage when some Kenyans were sleeping on hungry stomachs. It was a bold decision that could come at a cost. MPs have mastered the art of blackmailing, arm-twisting by mutely frustrating his development and political agenda when he stands in their way. While Kenyatta has little to lose politically since he won't be seeking re-election come 2022, Kenyans must keenly watch out for any monkey business among the petulant MPs and make it clear that they stand with the president. Such moral support will embolden the man of the people to take more of such drastic action against the egocentric elected leaders. Kenyans must also be on the lookout for MPs who continue advancing the pay hike agenda and show them a straight red card come 2022.